friends today we are going to discuss the sampling and reconstruction so it is a sampling and reconstruction trainer and let us see how to uh, connect the wires so i am connecting this wire this is the sampling frequency which is provided by this uh, circuit and the sampling frequency at a 20 kilo uh, 40 kilohertz and i am connecting this with uh, the signal input so it is connected now now i am uh, joining the cro so here is cro pin so black one is the negative so connect it uh, with zero reference voltage and this another point that is the positive connect this thing with the sample amplifier so this is sample amplifier the output of sample amplifier and this is our sampling uh, uh, sampling sampled signal okay now this CRO pin I'm joining with the signal input so what are the signal input signal input is the pure sound wave and the previous one that is the sampled output of the this signal this is sampled output of this now i am connecting this uh, pin with the sample and hold amplifier then what will be the resultant so these are the resultant okay now i am joining this uh, output of the sample amplifier with the second order low pass filter then what will be the resultant so let us see so let us join it and connect this CRO pin with the output of the se second order low pass filter so let us see the output so these are the output that is reconstructed output okay now uh, for more filtration we mo we are considering the fourth order low pass filter then what will be the resultant so let us see so let us join it with the fourth order low pass filter so i am connecting this uh, with the fourth order low pass filter after the joining the in the output is looking like this here is the sampling frequency that is very less therefore we not get exactly the pure sine wave these are the button uh, by which we can able to change the sampling frequency so uh, these are the increment of frequency whenever we increase the frequency then we get the proper sine wave okay and these are the output of the uh, reconstructed output we can say so these are the pin these are the changing the frequency if we increase the frequency then we will get the exactly sine wave 